Hey guys, this is Srini and you're watching Python tutorial videos on my YouTube channel Python for Microscopist. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about no reference image quality assessment and this uses a technique called BRISC. As the title suggests, we are trying to assess the quality of an image by not using any other reference. There are many other many ways of actually assessing the quality, right? You can actually have a gold standard image and then extract all types of parameters, you know, including, I don't know, sharpness and everything. There is a bunch of parameters that you can extract out of an image. And then you can take other images and then compare them against this gold standard. But oftentimes when you're collecting images from a microscope, you just want to make sure, okay, this image is good or this image is not bad. Well, you can look at it and say, okay, this is good or bad. But when you have automated workflows, for example, you have 1000 different images, you don't know which ones are good, which ones are bad from a quality point of view. So if you have a score associated with them saying that, okay, the quality metric for this image is, I don't know, 25, for this image is 50, for the other image is 80, then you can set a filter saying that, hey, I'm not comfortable analyzing any images above a quality metric of 80 because it's it's not good. I want everything below a certain level. So, so just do not do any image processing on these ones, but only work on these ones. So in a way you can create your own filter. Yeah, if you can quantify the noise or if you can quantify, not just the noise, if you can quantify the uh, uh, the quality of the image. I almost said noise, but noise is one of the parameters that defines uh, the quality of an image, right? So the other parameters can be, uh, for example, if the image is blurred, Okay, or if there are any other distortion type of artifacts in the image. So how this almost sounds like magic, right? I mean, no reference, having no reference. So there is a technique called uh, brisk. And again, uh, I'll include the paper, you know, the original paper in my description of the video and also as part of the code that I'm going to share. But uh, brisk actually stands for blind referenceless image spatial quality evaluator blind referenceless image spatial quality evaluator and it's spatial because we're not converting the images into uh, some sort of a Fourier uh, domain or anything we are just using the images as they are now how does it work I'll try to explain at a high level but I'll also give you the paper okay brisk assigns a score and it does that by computing okay uh, uh, support vector regression model Okay, it uses a support vector regression model that is actually trained on an image database with a whole bunch of images. Again, you can actually ignore the support vector regression model if you do, if you if you think that's intimidating. So think of this as brisk assigning a score. Okay, based on a whole bunch of images, it's it's really not no reference truly, right? Because the reference has already been uh, uh, performed. Yeah, uh, so it assigns a score and it actually the score is based on the computation okay of support vector regression whatever that is uh, uh, for you and it's trained on an image database okay and this database contains images with known distortion yeah and this known distortion is compression artifacts blurring noise and uh, and and this also contains like the clean version of these distorted images so in a way think of this as training a model it's almost like machine learning right training a model on uh, distorted images or you know the bad images and also on the clean images okay now one caveat here is that the image that you are trying to analyze or score it must have at least one of the distortions for which the model was trained if not then it doesn't know that this is a bad image okay so now let me actually jump on not to the code but i was hoping to show you this paper so here uh, i can zoom in if you want so this is no reference image quality assessment and this is from 2012 very highly cited go ahead and read all about this if you if you are curious but uh, let's actually jump into our uh, spider ide and just write these two three lines of code literally to actually come up with a score for our images as usual, we'll start by importing the light, right libraries and reading the image. So there you go. So we are actually, uh, and, and by the way, the brisk, I probably should have mentioned this. This is available if you go to, maybe I should, I should show that live. Where is it? Where is my link? So let's go here and 
I'll probably also share this link. But here, so pypy.org slash project slash image hyphen quality. So go ahead and pip install this. Okay, you need to do that. Otherwise, that library will not be available in your IDE. So go ahead and pip install this. And brisk is part of that. That's all I'm doing. So from imquality.brisk, uh, uh, you know, Im uh, import brisk from imquality as brisk. Yeah. So, uh, and I'm importing, actually, let's actually look at the brisk score on a clean image. I have two images. In fact, I should show you one image is like a clean image right there. Okay. And the other image, I have uh, added some noise to it. Okay. And let's actually look at the brisk score. And how do we do this? And this is as simple as B-R-I-S-Q-U-E dot score of my image. Okay. And let's go ahead and print it print uh, score equal to and this is our score okay so let's run this and the score it, it, it takes a few seconds okay so our score on this is 14.17 now one thing I should mention the lower the score the better it is the better the quality is so now let me calculate the score for the noisy image okay so the score for this noisy image is 74.2 so if I really don't want to deal with this noisy image I can basically say okay it calculate the brisk if brisk score is greater than I don't know 50 then uh, ignore those and uh, allow only the ones uh, you know perform a function or something you know onto the images that are actually clean so this way you're not wasting your computing time on bad images so just for the fun uh, I actually let me copy and paste a whole bunch of code. Well, whole bunch in the sense uh, I could have put this in the for loop and I mean, or some sort of a loop uh, to go through the files in my folder. But uh, I just wanted to want to calculate brisk score on blurred images. Okay, so these are all the blurred images, and again. Uh, Noisy images, it's very cl uh, clear, right? So, but when you look at the blurred images, for humans, we can basically say, yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, the, the edges are not sharp. So let's actually compare the brisk scores and let's also look at the uh, uh, peak signal to noise ratio because this is typically used as a quality metric of images and then see if, if we can infer anything from this exercise, okay? So let me go ahead and run this. Okay, so let's have a look at these. So the brisk score for uh, the image with no blur, obviously we already did that, right? 14.17 something something. And one sigma blur, not much, one sigma. You can see how the score actually jumped up. Two sigma, 59, 71, 81, 89. And usually the maximum is 100, but then if you I've seen images where they go up to 130, 140. Again, I have to go back and read the paper to see what the true upper limit is. But if you have an image that has like full of noise, then that would, I've seen a number of 145 or so. Okay, but the higher the number, the worse the image actually gets. And uh, also, if you look at the peak signal to noise for all of these images, uh, you can't tell anything. Yeah, 32, 27, 24, 22, 20. Uh, it's, it's not, I mean, this is not a great indicator of the quality of the image. So I personally think that Brisk is a great way of actually scoring your image quality in addition to other metrics, if you're already keeping track of other metrics. So anyway, I hope you found uh, this tutorial to be useful and you probably learned something new and uh, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It keeps me encouraged to create more such videos and let's meet in the next tutorial with uh, discussing a different topic. Thank you very much.